If you want to understand how to compose a page visually, to create a sequence that uses the visuals to form a lot of the punctuation, you'd be hard pressed to find a better example than an Elsa Charetia drawn comic. In this episode, I want to talk about how Charetia, along with colorist Sarah Stern and co-writer Pierre Cornet, use a series of visual interruptions that work in specifically comics focused ways. You're watching Strip Hound Naked, I'm Hass, and I'm going to show you some of the cool stuff lurking in the pages of some of the best comics. So I'm using examples from the Star Wars Forces of Destiny Leia one-shot, which is an IDW comic aimed at a younger audience. It's also full of really great visual storytelling, and an excellent case study for how to use comics to tell a story visually in a short amount of time. Take a look at this page, which is fairly common throughout the issue in terms of panel density, you know, it's quite high, but it's through this density that the team is able to create a rhythm. The point of the page is to show Leia learning how to ride this animal, showing some of her drive in the dialogue and need for getting on with the plan. It's the second half of the page that I do want to focus on, however, where Leia is talking about the mission and how she won't let it be compromised by juvenile, stubborn, and that's all we get before it's interrupted by Han. And then we go back to Leia saying she means this animal here. And you probably notice the way that the panels break halfway through that sequence, right? We have these two panels on Leia as Charetia draws her closer from one to the next, both on the same tier. It matches everything visually that came before it, where each of the previous two tiers are split, not allowing a single full width panel. And it pushes in, too, getting to a close-up on Leia's face, Sarah Stern keeping the icy blue palette when the background is in frame. And the rhythm then gets upset with this single width panel on Han, where he interrupts with this hey balloon. You know, compositionally he's outstretched, but the framing jolts backwards from the close-up with Leia to a wide shot of Han. Stern's colouring switches from the blue to this bright warning orange, giving the moment an extra beat of interruption. And also the background completely drops out, something that you'll often find when these moments switch to a big bright background colour. So the visuals are replicating essentially what the script is creating. The script has hand interrupt layer, and so the visuals create a similar effect, where everything about the composition is taken in the opposite direction, essentially interrupting the regular narrative flow of the visuals. So rather than close, it's wide, rather than blue, it's orange, rather than split, it's full length, rather than background, there's no background. And Charetti and Stern use a lot of this visual kind of bookending, where the moment creates a specific look that is then broken, usually with the help of a burst of colour. So here's another quick example, where the page composition is uniform, with these full width panels at the top and bottom of the page, and then five tall thin panels running through the middle. When you see the full page, there is an upset rhythm in the middle, an orange panel bouncing off of the four blue ones around it. It gives that middle panel kind of additional oomph that pops, and similarly with the red panel at the bottom, which isn't just about the striking colour, but the difference in panel information. So the top panel is dense with detail, and the middle run also contains full figures and background detail, and yet the final panel contains just Leia's face and reaction. Fittingly, for a sequence where Leia begins by talking about all the equipment, so too do the visuals give us all that equipment. Then she's talking about making friends with this animal, and we see their full interactions and back and forth throughout. And then the story tells us there's something shocking interrupting that moment, and the visuals get rid of absolutely everything else, because essentially, what else is relevant for this moment? And also by doing that, you really have this massive expanse of just pure red. And visually, we notice that way quicker than we will read the dialogue in the balloons or anything else. We see that red and it hits us immediately, because it's so different from everything else around it. So you're essentially seeing an emphasis on setting up a visual look of a page and then breaking it, either in panel size or colour, detail, or, you know, more likely, a combination of any of those three. It sounds simple when it pared down like that, but the way the panels balance it is very, very effective. So as a final example, I want to look at this one, which is kind of a flashback to the base setting on fire 24 hours before. Again, it's almost classically French in design with these four tiers, and with all the visuals removed, you can probably already tell what I'm about to talk about. The panels on the left side of the tier are essentially shifting over, pushing aside everything to the right of it, while also getting a touch taller, but they're interrupted by these three small, thinner panels. When the visuals are added back in, you can see it's a dual narrative, layer on the left side and an anonymous character in the base on the right. The middle is showing the wiring spark and catch fire, a way to break the time between those two moments, essentially taking that concept of visual interruption in a new way. Here, these short sharp bursts of panels are used to quickly create a rhythm, a small kind of musical beat of cause and effect, as Leia wakes up and jumps to action. And all of that is offset by the final panel, where everything slows down suddenly, you know, those five balloons, heavier dialogue, and a single densely packed image causing the shock of the moment to wear off. Essentially, this page is a series of interruptions, the small thinner panels interrupting the visuals of Leia, and the final panel interrupting the flow of the preceding three tiers. And while each of these three examples is doing a bit of a different thing, it's all showing how Charetti and Stern are using comics to amplify the nature of the story being told. 
They use the panel rhythms to create acting in the important character-to-character -character moments, both in terms of dialogue delivery, but also in the way characters interact against one another. They also use detail and amounts of detail to hone reader focus on what is necessary, creating an incredibly streamlined story that doesn't get bogged down in anything unnecessary. And finally, they show that interruptions can be used to both speed up and slow down the audience when reading sequences. An interruption can be a snap explosion, or it can be a dialogue-heavy panel. Both are used to great effect in these pages. And while many might snub their nose at an all-ages Star Wars comic, looking at just a small selection of pages, you can see that this is a brilliant resource for understanding how to tell a story in a very comic-centric way. Thanks for watching. And just to say this month, there is a brand new issue of Panel by Panel magazine, focusing half of our issue this month on the wicked and divine. We've got a massive interview with Kieran Gillen, Jamie McKelvey, Matt Wilson and Clayton Cowles on making the series, as well as seven other essays, including an exclusive strip panel naked article. In the back half of the magazine, we've got plenty of extras as well, including a look at Dark Horse's Star Wars series by Steve Fox, and Eisen-nominated writer Christopher Sabela looks back at Gabriel Hardman's Kinski. All that plus more in 120 pages of magazine that you can find at panelxpanel.com. If you're a fan of Strip Panel Naked and would like to support it, you can via the Patreon, where you'll get access to years worth of exclusive content. And you can find my two-time Eisen nominated magazine at panelxpanel.com, and follow me on Twitter at HassanOE. Finally, hit subscribe and that notification bell to keep up to date with all the latest episodes, and I'll see you next time.